Did you know that if you rent this car in Sicily, you have double the chances of having it stolen than if you rented this one? Now you know, and by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need about driving in Sicily, from practical tips when it comes to rental, to how to avoid theft and fines, and what to expect from locals and their unique driving style. So you can have a wonderful Sicilian road trip with no stress and no issues. Let's start with car rental. When it comes to car rental, I have four basic tips. And the number one is don't chip out on insurance. If you can get 100% cover because you might get a scratch here and there. Another reason for that is that the car rental company, if you get a scratch or a bump, will definitely try and charge you the whole amount or keep the deposit. They can be a little bit sneaky. And that takes us to number two. When you pick up your car, try and take a photo or a video of every little lose scratch and bump or problem you see with it because when you return it you can always claim you didn't do it if they try to blame you for that and get the deposit from you number three is if you can rent a smaller car for two main reasons first you want to be able to park in touristic attractions and more crowded areas and with a smaller car it's obviously easier and number two is a lot of towns and historical center have tiny narrow streets that you'll need to navigate and having a smaller car it will be easier to do that than having a bigger car so let's Less likelihood to have it scratched. Number four, which small car? Well, as I said, the Fiat Panda is the most likely to get stolen, followed by Fiat 500, Fiat Punto, Lancia Y, and Smart 4 too. So if you want to minimize your chances of having your car stolen, try to pick a car that is not one of these ones. Still, your chance of having them stolen is very slim, even if you pick one of those. So don't worry too much about it, but it's good to know. By the way, if you're renting your car in Palermo or Catania Airport, but you're still planning on spending one or two or three days in one of those cities, maybe you're better of just renting the car later when you're gonna get out of the city and drive to the other towns because Catania and Palermo are true concrete jungles. If you still decide to drive in those cities and you're that brave, here's what to expect. Number one, intersection, traffic lights, roundabouts. Even if you think you have right of way, you should know that right of way is a bit of a abstract concept here in Sicily. Before you get into an intersection, just double or triple check that no one's cutting you off because people might just do that. Number two, if you're about to turn right or left, no matter if you're getting into a small street at an intersection or starting to park, even if you think you're totally alone and fine and no one's passing by you, always assume that a moped, a motorcycle or a scooter will just zoom past your car and be extra careful. Number three, if people honk at you quite aggressively, don't take it personally. They're not not being mean it's just that here whenever the traffic lights turns green people immediately start honking or even if you're just slowing down to get into an intersection and you're maybe causing a little bit of a slowdown in the traffic they would start honking you just do your thing focus on driving safely and ignore them number four especially around Catania people tend to take over without really checking the mirrors and sometimes without putting indicators someone in front of you might catch you off to overtake someone be extra careful and try to keep always good distance with the car in front of you. Speaking of indicators, you probably guessed it, they can be a little bit of an optional here. So don't be surprised if someone suddenly turns without using the indicator before. When people put an indicator to change lanes, they're not really signaling the intention to change lane, they're just telling you they're about to do it. So, so expect them to turn suddenly and don't be too surprised or upset because it's just the way it is. But the utter chaos is not the only reason why you might want to avoid driving in the city centers. The other one are the ZTLs. These are restricted traffic areas set up by local authorities to limit traffic or even totally forbid traffic in certain areas, usually town centers. If you by accident enter one of these restricted areas, your license plate will be immediately recorded and you'll get a fine of 200 euros or even more. The thing is, the signal for these traffic areas are not always very clear, so you might accidentally enter one without knowing, and the rules for ZTLs are different from town to town. Some places have restrictions based on hours of the day, some others on days of the week some other have restrictions just for non-residents so you might for example see a number of cars entering a ZTL and thinking it's fine to enter but actually gonna see that your license plate is not registered to a resident of the town and still fine you so whenever you're planning on going into popular city centers like in Ortigia, Taormina, Cefalu, Syracuse watch out for ZTLs and maybe inform yourself a little bit and knowing when you can enter or if you should just leave your car slightly outside of the city center and walk in when it comes to motor ways, highways and country roads, driving is a true delight, you just have beautiful landscapes rolling by. The only thing to keep in mind is that speed limits are seen by Sicilians not as strict rules but more as kind suggestions that 
can be ignored. So you'll see a lot of people driving way too fast or even overtaking in dangerous spots. Obviously, you don't do that. Just stick to the limit. Sometimes you'll be driving at the right speed limit or even just slightly below it and people will be tailgating you. You can really feel the breath on your neck. Their car will be very close to yours. Don't let that put pressure on you. Just stick to the limit because there might also be hidden cameras somewhere. So if you go over the limit, you'll get fined. And probably they'll tailgating you and not overtaking you because they know there might be cameras too. The opposite is also true. You will also see very old cars from the 80s or 90s going very slow and taking their sweet time on the countryside. And that's a good way to go about it. Go slow and enjoy the ride and take in the beautiful sights. When it comes to parking, especially in the city, and the dreaded parking assistance. I've spoken about it on this video on safety in Sicily. So go check it out if you want some extra tips on how to be safe in Sicily. Subscribe to our channel because we will be posting more videos like this about Sicily and about our travels around the world. Thanks for watching and bye.